All right, let's install a MIDI song that you've uh, purchased, uh, let's say, over there at the, uh, the um, Premium Content Library over on the BeatBuddy site. And when you download that, you're going to have a, a, a series of folders. And when you click on one of the folders, um, here's what's going to happen. But first of all, let's do this. We'll click plus song, which means we are now creating a song. And if you look over here, this pops up. So you'll be able to click on that and rename that the name of the song that you're going to put here. So what we're going to do right now, we need to get to those songs, those MIDI files, that'll build this song. So what you want to do is go to Intro Fill. Now I've already got brought this up. This is a... Uh, uh, Oh, there we go. My car shut down. Mm -hmm. Right here. Hard to go. Let's try that and see what happens. So, this is what's going to show up. Hey, these are MIDI files right here. They're all broken down so that you can install them right here and then be able to play them. So, what we have is the intro fill. So, we go down here and look here. Click there boom it puts it right there right where it's supposed to be now let's go to the main loop or what we call the verse click on that look for verse click there boom and then you go right here to drum fill and they're just calling it fill and we'll do we'll do two of them see that now you've got two fills in there and let's see if we got a transition. Nope, no transition. So we'll back out of that. We'll go to the outro. There's the outro fill. And then um, right here, we're going to have a chorus. So we need a chorus. So we're going to do that. So right here is the chorus. And that's it. Actually, you could do that and put a fill here, like so. Now, that way, when you're running the beat buddy, and you hit the button once, you'll get this quick fill. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. And then all you want to do is uh, hit play. What it's going to do, it's going to save that. Boom. See that? Now you're singing the song, you're on the verse. Want to do a little fill. And then when you hold it down, boom, it goes to the chorus. Do a little fill, and you get done with the song, double tap, and that's it. Now, if you like that, what's going on there, then you simply, actually, you can either double click here, or click here, clear that out, and then put the name of the song there, or do like I do, you can just, right here, and put the name of the song, Heart of Gold, H-E, oops. H E Art of G O L T. Just like that. Now watch this. Boom. See that? It instantly adds it over here. So there you go. That's it. You're good to play. Now you move on to the next song. Same idea. You know, this this might it the next song that you come up with might have some transition fills. It'll say that. Same here. Or you might even have an accent hit. Um, it just depends on the song, but this was fairly straightforward as far as that goes. As far as that goes, you can probably tell it to use the standard drums. And the uh, default tempo is 120. See here, and it says unsaved. Anytime you start messing with this, in order to save it, you just hit play, save, and there you go. You can stop it. Boom, there you go. You've now got your song. So 
Hope that helps a little bit. Catch you later.